Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmina and I'm making beauty videos. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about Makeup Revolution. I put an order in with them and this is what I got. This is where the order is. We're gonna try a bunch of things today. And all this cost me $70. What is in here? and um it was they had a promotion it was like buy three and get one free or get buy two and get one free. Well, let me show you what i got and then i can explain all right so first thing that i got um there are two masks i am um, always looking for more masks to put in my collection i have a bunch of masks but this one is a pink clay and I actually tried this one today it's a detoxifying mask and it's vegan and cruelty free I tried it today I really like the way it felt on my skin it dried really fast sometimes clay mask or mud mask they take a little bit to dry this one dried really fast and also um, made my skin look really good it took care of some of the pimples that I had and dried them a little bit down but yeah this is a really nice mask I haven't tried this one this one is angry soothing overnight face mask so I'm gonna try this this one has cannabis satina in it and it says angry catch this not breakout so hopefully this is gonna work really well as well but um we're gonna have to try that this is an overnight face mask and this is a big time so i'm really excited about this here okay so this is the cc cream uh perfecting foundation with the spf 30 i am excited to try this uh, unfortunately I have chose the wrong shade uh, that is for sure we're gonna try it today hopefully it's gonna be able to work with some bronzer in there to make it look better but I got this this is such a cute product I was like yes it was close to Easter by the way it took like 30 days to get to receive this so just so you know when you all when you order from their website it might take a little longer um, than like for example ordering from Sephora or Ulta so uh, I got this little bunny and this is Stardust shadow palette and there's like those are the shades on the back but this is how it looks like I have a CC perfect impress powder this isn't this is in the shape warm maple and uh, even this one is light lighter than my skin tone but it doesn't matter we'll play with them today and we'll see how we're gonna make them work the last two things in here oh my god i am freaking out about these i was able to get two of them the the cc they're from the revolution pro i think cc line when they were shown it was with both with these two so i am glad i was able to get them but we're definitely gonna play with one of them i don't know which one today but we're gonna play with one of them today so i'm really excited Without about further ado, let's go ahead and apply this foundation on my skin i'm gonna try to apply with this little sponge that i got at boxy charm and april boxy charm i'm gonna leave a link in the description or up here somewhere uh, that you can go and watch it and see what i got but this is from midori foundation sponge and it comes with two sponges actually and it's from hank and henry and there's this one and there's this one so this one is supposed to be a foundation one and i guess this one is supposed to be a concealer one i really like the way it feels i haven't tried it so far so i'm kind of excited to see it grew quite a lot like it was <laughs> it was not this big when it was uh we went when it wasn't wet but it grew quite a lot so uh, we'll see i mean look at that whoa <laughs> that's gonna cover a lot at once so this is how it looks like i mean it's really nice you know it looks really the packaging it looks really sleek i wasn't expecting this from 
uh, Revolution. I mean, it looks very similar to the Becca foundation, right? So let's see what it promised to do. It says it has moisturized and rich foundation that contains hyaluronic acid and collagen and antioxidants. That is freaking amazing. That's why I bought this thing. I was like, what? It has collagen. It has hyaluronic acid. It has antioxidant. It's like the magic formula somehow. Hmm. I really want to see how that is transferring on my skin and how it actually looks. And it says it's full coverage full coverage a cc cream that is full coverage and also it's moisturizing foundation it has an spf 30 in it it's highly pigmented yet light moisturizing foundation rich with hyaluronic acid collagen and antioxidants omg <laughs> let's put this on i'm like i'm ready i'm so ready i'm just gonna the three or things in here it's definitely way lighter the shade for me but it is what it is you know when I looked in the website I really thought I made the right decision but I guess I haven't oh yeah it is very light so it is um, not full coverage I can tell you that much it is not full coverage let's ignore the fact that it's not my skin <laughs> it's not my uh, color uh, it is not full coverage it has a little bit of a moisturizing feeling to it it does have a luminosity to it but it is definitely not full coverage you can totally see some of the redness coming through over here and it's a little bit hard to blend now i don't know if it's the it's whose fault is it if it's the the cc cream or if it's this uh blender beauty blender but i believe it's more of the cc cream because it is very hard to blend and also on top of my nose it's very 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 hard to do a blending over here it's like as it dries if you can see over here is really you can see all the redness and all my pores peeking through so it is definitely not a full coverage i am uh, yeah i am a little disappointed to be honest i thought i thought it was the magic foundation i guess not ah, like look around my nose it's very hard to push that in not the type of person that actually likes a light uh look a light coverage light to medium coverage and more like medium to full coverage because i have uh, a lot to cover and i i don't think this looks good at all on my skin not the color choice it's just you, you can see everything you know like even on this side like you can totally see everything around my nose is very hard to blend it's it is very light like you don't feel anything on your skin but it is also light coverage not full coverage i was hoping for something more but i guess not all right let's see how this one is gonna be that contains hyaluronic acid and antioxidant it says that it has no flashbacks so i love the packaging check that right there really nice and then let's open it up there you go it's a compact it has this really beautiful detail on it it's definitely a lighter shade than what i need um so let's just see is this gonna do a better job oh i actually do i think it's going to i can tell you from the beginning i want i'm i like the way this transfer to the skin and actually blocks my pores okay so this is the 
the area that I use my that I use the powder looks so much better. It actually covers way more with this on this area than what it is on this area. This area I didn't apply the foundation. I didn't apply the powder yet, just the foundation. And also the color looks a little better but on top of that it just kind of smooths everything out so I'm really enjoying the way it looks on this side I just wanted to do half of it on because you can see the difference between the two and also it takes a little bit away from that um, you know sparkle glowing look now if you're looking more of a glowing look i would not recommend to apply as much powder just pat it just a little bit and not a lot but i do have oily skin and i do need uh, quite a bit of a powder in order to make sure that my uh, makeup is gonna stay on during right, the so day so i went off camera and fixed everything <laughs> Um, I think now we're good. We're, we're in a good stage that we can work with. Uh, and we're gonna play with some of this eyeshadow palette. Um, if you're interested in what I applied on my face, I'm gonna leave in the description down below everything that I put on. And I'm gonna try to leave some links if you're interested in any of that. Okay, so this, I got totally more drawn to this because, like, you know, I'm wearing pink today. Um, and this is so pretty. Such a beautiful packaging. And the shades and everything, the way they look, they look so expensive. They look, to me, they look like something like, um, Pat McGrath type of thing. So that is really pretty. We're gonna... We're gonna swatch them all right here. Oh wow, that is pigmented. Wow, so these are the swatches right there. Really beautiful. Ooh, I can totally see a beautiful look with these. So pretty. Yes. Glad about that. Oh, this is gorgeous. So these are $15 each. Seriously, that is gorgeous. Okay, so these are the swatches on the second one right here. Really nice as well. And then this one is a little harder, I mean, to see on my hand. It's a little bit on the dustier side, the first one, the lighter shade, but all the other ones are really nice and creamy. So I'm definitely going to play with the pink one. So this is kind of very simple to use. So I'm going to go with the lighter shade right here and go with that all over my, my eye. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one in my crease. And I'm gonna extend it all the way from my, from under my eyebrow. And a little bit above my crease. Oh yeah, these are so buttery. Very easy to blend. Okay, I really like how it looks for now. Really pretty. 
you guys like my new background and everything i don't know if i'm gonna continue to uh filming this background but let me know down below if you do kind of i just wanted something new i don't want it to go back to my normal spot just wanted to film somewhere new to feel a little bit more inspired get a little bit more inspired while i create looks and stuff like that so i don't know we'll see if i'm gonna continue here maybe i'm gonna change a little bit the background with a different color but for now that was the only thing i had to put right there and um yeah let me know what you think all right after that i am thinking i'm gonna go with this color right here all over my lid i mean on right on this section let's take a different brush i'm gonna go with this one right here hmm i think that one may work better just if I put it, apply it with my finger. Mm -hmm. And then on my outer corner, I'm going to go with the darkest shade. I'm thinking just to brighten things up a little bit I'm gonna go with the lighter shade right here and just kind of go right over here in this inner corner and under my eye I'm just gonna go with the darker shade And I have a bunch of fallout, so let's see if it's easy to remove. And it is. Still get a little bit of sparkle under your eyes from all the shimmers, but it's not bad. I really like this look. It's a really simple, you know, more of a sweet romantic look. All right, so I went ahead and applied mascara and a little bit of lipstick, and this is how the final look it is. This is how it turned out to be. I really enjoy it. I actually like it a lot. Um, out of all of these things, there's few things that disappoint me, a few things that are to my standards, a few things that are like, mm -mm -mm. but overall, everything came together. What I want to say, the CC cream, it is not full coverage, it's definitely on the light coverage area. Um, it does have a really beautiful natural glow and you can still see it even when you apply the powder, it still comes back up. It's good that it has an SPF 30 in it. I don't know, uh, it's nice that it has hyaluronic acid and collagen and antioxidants in it, but it's definitely not something that I would like to wear by itself. Uh, not for my liking, for people that actually do prefer something like coverage, this is definitely the way to go. It looks really nice, but it's a little harder to blend on my skin, at least around my nose and make sure that it's everything looks uniform all over the face it's um it was a little harder to apply that's for sure um but i'm if you put the powder with it it definitely looks much better the powder is the one that saves it the powder is the one that actually makes everything looks really beautiful covers everything you know like a little imperfection is not full coverage this one either is more like a medium coverage but it's a beautiful look together you know um it's still not to my liking because it's only like a medium coverage thing but if you want and if you like more of that look this is definitely for you if you're more like a full coverage type of gal like me 
Mm, not so much <laughs> you know the powder I really do enjoy so probably I'm gonna try the powder a little bit with some other foundation that I have and give that a try and see how it goes with it but the CC cream I'm definitely not gonna use it on top of that is a I have chose a very bad color for not I needed maybe two two shades a little darker so that's that um for these two really pretty although i gotta say the shimmers there's some of the shimmers that are good some of the shimmers are not as great like this one i struggled a little bit to apply it all over um my lid right here i had to go with my finger over and over and over again and it just kind of took a little bit of work to do that this one right here the darker shade it's better i like it a much much better than anything in here um the lighter shade it's mm, dustier you know these are more creamy the shimmers are a little bit more creamy the the lighter shade the matte shade is a little bit dustier but overall you can still create a beautiful look with it and um the mask i'm really excited for trying so excited about these two I love a good mask I love trying new masks so I'm glad about those this one is so pretty oh I love it if you're interested in the look with this one please let me know down below and I will do I will make that for you make that happen for you also um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that but these are the color so pretty i love love these colors i'm pretty sure you can do some really beautiful looks with these and um, i'm excited to have it so that is all for today i hope you really enjoyed this uh, video if you did please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and all that jazz and i will see you all in my next video bye